in John's Gospel, proclaimed at Mass on the Feast of Christ the King, Pilate asked Jesus if he was a king, to which Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. Well, in the scriptures today from the book, reading from the book of Daniel, we were introduced to King Nebuchadnezzar, who was of this world. He was bent on destroying the religious beliefs of four young men, among them Daniel, offering them special favors in the hopes of winning them over to a pagan culture. Daniel resisted, and we heard the story, and he remained faithful during a time of trial. For this, he was rewarded with gifts of knowledge and wisdom, which allowed him to faithfully resist the evil designs of the king and his court. The story of Daniel's resistance and fidelity provided hope and encouragement to people who were oppressed and persecuted for their beliefs. And it's a story that is intended to do the same for us today, along with the account of the widow who gave of her poverty and of St. Cecilia, who was martyred for her beliefs. As for the widow, Jesus told the account to make a simple point. Watch, look at her. Having practically nothing, she continued to trust in God to the extent that she was willing to give all that she had, believing that God would provide. And that's the point. Believing that God would provide. She trusted in God, who enabled her to remain faithful during times of trial. This seems to become the theme now of what I'm trying to develop. Remaining faithful in times of trial. And that was true of Saint Cecilia, one of the most popular saints to come down to us from the third century. She was a noble Roman woman who, along with her husband Valerian and his brother, both of whom she was instrumental in converting to Christianity, were beheaded for refusing to sacrifice to the gods. Her fame, for whatever reason, spread particularly in the 5th century, producing art and story that immortalized her. Daniel the Widow, St. Cecilia, all three serve as inspiration for us today who face our own struggles and challenges, and we want to remain faithful. We saw how each received unique gifts from God for their fidelity. Daniel, wisdom and knowledge, the widow, recognition and appreciation from Jesus, and St. Cecilia, yes, the gift of martyrdom. And as we are about to enter this season of Advent, may the light of faith that permeated the lives of Daniel, the widow, Cecilia, may that light rest upon each one of us who find life challenging and sometimes our faith depleted, especially at this time of year.